So Linda, what if you have a concentrate that's really high in fats and waxes? Does that inhibit the crystallization process? Uh, to a degree. So fats and waxes are pretty interesting in the sense that you'll you'll still be able to crystallize a lot of the time, but there are there's a certain subset of fats and waxes that will precipitate out at the same time as THCA. Mm -hmm. It's just like a de wax. Uh, yeah. You know, sometimes you see like column de wax or something in old school hydrocarbon systems. Yeah. Yeah. So. The challenge with that is if you're precipitating THCA and the waxes are falling out at the same time, you end up with a chop of a waxy THCA isolate at the end of it. And that's obviously not desirable. So what we found the most effective way to do that is, you know, the crystallization process is really similar to the de-wax process with one main difference is that you can coagulate waxes when your solution is very dilute. Oh, interesting. So what we'll do is we'll fill the solution, we'll fill the collection pot up or the crystallizer up with, with a bunch of solvent, we'll cool it down and then uh, the waxes will coagulate out right. and we'll filter those with one of our filters. And then so there's, some, there's a downstream filtration step yeah. that allows you to kind of keep your collection vessel clear of those uh, those waxes. Exactly, yeah. We have a downstream filter where we will drain the crystallizer now with the coagulated waxes in it, deposit those waxes onto a filter, and then send it back to the crystallizer now devoid of those waxes wow. so you can perform the crystallization step.